Welcome to the Purdue Library's tutorial on the Philosopher's Index database. This tutorial will cover an overview of the database, how to narrow down search results, and other helpful tools. You may wonder why you should use the Philosopher's Index database. This database is an Ovid resource which provides informative authored written abstracts covering scholarly research in 15 fields of philosophy published in journals and books since 1940. Records cite journal articles, books, contributions to anthologies, and book reviews. To get started, let's go to the Purdue Library's website at www.lib.purdue.edu. Next, click on the database link underneath the search box. This will link to a full list of databases available through the Purdue Libraries. To find the Philosopher's Index, go to the P section, scroll down to the title, and click on the link. First, let's take a look at the main page. Now, this database might look different from other databases you have tried. For instance, there are more search options beyond basic and advanced searches. You may search for specific items through the Find Citations section, or do a general search under the Basic or Advanced options. You can even search multiple keywords, authors, and journals with the multi-field search. For our search today, we are going to do a basic search for the philosopher Kierkegaard. This will bring back over 4,000 results, which is a lot of items to go through. To narrow this list down, if you look underneath the search box, you will see a button called Additional Limits. Clicking on that button will give you several ways to limit your search, including by language, full text, and publication year. For this tutorial, we will limit the search to um, items from 2005 to current, written in English. This will bring back over 900 results. From here, you can review the list to see which articles will help with your research. It can be helpful to click on the abstract button to find out more about an article that you are reviewing. When you find a title that might be helpful for your research, if you look over to the right side of the screen, there is a button called Find It at Purdue Libraries. If you click on this button, it will take you to the library's catalog to see if this item is available in any format, including print or online. Remember, if the item you want is not available at Purdue, you can make a request for the item through our Interlibrary Loan service. One last tip. On the search page at the top of the screen, there is a section that lists all of the terms and limits you searched. If you would like to save any of your searches, you can click on those items, then the Save button. It will then ask you to give a name to your search. If you want to access the search later, you can click on the View Saved button and select the search you would like to use. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. If you are looking for other databases similar to the Philosopher's Index, here are a couple to try.